Hello and welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about prototype. This is the second tutorial in a much larger series on object-oriented programming in JavaScript. And in the last tutorial, we learned about uh, constructors. So if you haven't learned about the constructors, I would recommend you go and look at that tutorial first before coming to this. I'll provide a link here. Now, what is a prototype? To so look at a nutshell, every constructor has a property called prototype and you can add methods to it all right so let's create a constructor uh, called car and we can have a property color set to this car constructor we can say this dot color equal to color this is the color that we are passing here and so this is our simple car constructor now there are two ways to add methods to this i can simply add a method directly inside here so i can say this dot get color um, equal to a function and this will simply return me the color so i would say return uh, this dot color and if I execute this constructor to create object, so let's say we create a red car equal to new car red, uh, you would see the, the get color method inside the object as a part of the object. So if I say console log a red car and execute it, I would see color equal to red and I would have this method called get color which is part of the object as you can see however instead of doing this I can add this I would say instead of this I would say car dot proto type remember I told you that every constructor has a property called prototype so car has car as a constructor has a prototype so I can add this get color property to it now if i run this i would not see the get color method here inside the car object instead if i expand its proto again underscore underscore proto underscore underscore is actually the creator of this uh, red car um, and it you would see two things it would have the get color and it would have the constructor which created it now you must be wondering i added um, this method to its prototype which is car dot prototype how the heck did it show up here inside the proto is the proto same as a prototype well to summarize it you can see it's all about references so when it when when you execute the the car constructor to create um, a red car object what it does it it basically creates the object but it sets its underscore its creator which is underscore underscore proto and it would have reference to its constructor and any property that you um, set it to its prototype so if you if i expand this constructor i would see a prototype here so the car constructor does have a property called prototype and if i expand the prototype I would see the get method property here uh, so basically this get color is nothing but the reference to uh, this get color so when I add it to its constructors prototype it it's showing up here as a reference uh, to summarize it so now if I call red car dot get color and execute it i would get red now how does how does this whole thing work so let me go back to look at the red car again so if i look at the red car again uh, when i call the red car dot get color what it does it it looks at its own properties to see if there is a method called uh, get color and you won't find it so it won't stop there it would 
look at its creator, which is its proto. And if I expand it, it would find it here and would execute it. And it doesn't even stop here. If you cannot find it, it would keep going up the letter, uh, which is called prototype chain. And if I, so what created this proto? It created by this proto. This is the master object. So all the objects are created using this object. It's object with capital O. And as you can see, it also has some methods. For example, it has this two string method. So let's say if I call red car dot two string. Now this method is not inside the object or its creator. It's it's inside the creator of the creator, which is the this root or master object. So if I say two string and execute it, well it would give me object object because I cannot simply convert an object to a string, but it is executing it. Now there are two ways to, if I really want to basically stringify this object, uh, there are two ways to do it. Either I can add this property into its prototype, or I can change it directly to the, the root object. So if I want to uh, change it directly to the root object, I can do this. I can say object, which is the, 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 the most root object, and I can overwrite that to string property by saying to string equal to function. Here I can I can write a custom function that actually customize that would print out uh, object to a string. So since it has a only one property, I would just simply say return. I can write template string and just say color color. If you don't know what template string is, uh, I have a tutorial. I can provide a link here. That's a very useful function. All right, so now if I call red car dot two string, it would give me color red. So it actually modified, not modified, it shadowed the the two string function that is inside the the master object. So now this object is available for any object that I create. So if I create another object called blah blah. Um, let's say we can create something, a regular object. I can say let uh, blah equal to, it has a property called color is blah. I'm, just, I'm in a funny mood today, so I'm just going to create this. And now I can say console log blah dot to string. Let me console log. Let me comment this out. And if I run it, I would get color as blah. So it actually modified into the root object. So any object um, I call to string, it would give me this. Now it's not a good idea to do this because not every object is going to have a color property and do this. You can write some generic uh, way to actually express convert objects to um, string, but I would suggest just do it into the car prototype rather than, but I wanted to show you so that you can do it if you want to. Okay, so in next tutorial, we are going to look at how we can inherit prototype from one object to another. And we can look at how the prototype chain works. I'll provide a link here at the end of the tutorial so you can continue with this. And I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Thank you.